So you want to know what Bangkok is like right now in 2021? Well, this is the video for you. Let's go and explore what Bangkok's like right now. As we can see right now, the subways are completely dead. Usually all these chairs would be completely packed with people. So right now in Thailand, it is a requirement for you to wear your mask. If you take your mask off, you're not allowed to ride public transportation. And it's just absolutely insane how quiet things are these days. TMRT is a big one, you're not going to be able to the first place that we're going to explore today is the Bangsu Railway Station. I'm very curious to see if this is still up and running, even during these times. So it looks like there's still a lot of people here. Not as much as there was before. Coffee shop, pancake vendor, and a long line of taxis and public transportation. In the background is the SCG building. This building is actually where I have to get my vaccination in a few days. It's an absolutely gorgeous building, the SCG building. This is some pretty wild graffiti right here. This is actually pretty crazy. Before the situation, this used to be a bunch of little shops, but as we can see, a lot of them are closed down now. Yeah, this is pretty freaky to check out. All of these used to be little vendors. Now it looks more like, like a creepy alley. Got some lottery tickets over there. B, you want to get a lottery ticket? Here you go. Get my neck up out. Okay, coming up. There's actually still a few vendors that are open here at the railway station. Usually there's a lot more than this, but I'm surprised that there's still this many vendors. What I'm curious to know is, is the railway still running like normal? So I'm gonna have B talk to an employee here to see what they said. Yeah, we still got a a lot of shops open. Oh yeah, and one thing that's cool, depending on when you come out to Thailand, they're actually building a brand new railway station. So if you look to my left, you can see that's where the new Bangsu station is going to be in the future. But as of right now, it's not yet completed. This is the railway schedule right here but as we can see a lot of the normal times are not available i'm not sure if these things are cute or absolutely horrifying so we can go to hoa hin from here yes how much is the ticket um 94. now what we're gonna do is head into the heart of bangkok so the first stop for us is gonna be terminal 21 near a soak station okay b let's go This is Terminal 21, and we're gonna explore and see what it looks like right now. I'm actually pretty curious what it looks like right now because I've seen some photos, but I haven't been inside the actual store for a long time. B, do you think it's gonna be open? Yes, I think, uh, I think it's open. This is what the inside of Terminal 21 looks like at this moment in time. You can see it's very dark and I don't know if there's any restaurants open right now, but we can definitely check it out and see. Looks like we can go down here or we can go up. Let's see, let's see what's up. So this is all blocked off. It's a little brighter up here. This is actually a super spooky kind of feel to the place right now. I mean, check it out. Let's see what there is open here. Onitsuka Tiger is closed, it looks like. That's where I got my shoes from. There has to be something open or there's no reason for Terminal 21 to be open right now. Looks like Boots Pharmacy is still open. LH Bank, not sure if they're open or just doing some renovations in there. Looks like they're just getting the place set up instead of actually doing business. Watson also open. I'm not sure about Dairy Queen. It actually looks open, but I don't see anybody working. Still got cakes right here. This is actually how a lot of shopping malls let you order food at this moment in time. You have to come to one of these booths and 
order whatever you want. And then when you order your food here, you pay for it here, and they just give you a bag, and then you take that to go eat at your house. And this is where you would wait to get your food, but as we can see, there's hardly anybody here. The place actually still smells really good. I can smell a lot of fresh food being created, but there's hardly anyone here. Cake showcase. Doesn't look like there's any cake in their showcases. Potato corner, pretty cool stuff. A croissant bakery. Market looks like still at full capacity. Oh, Krispy Kreme donuts. Looks like I'm gonna have to get one of these. Sorry, kap. Yak dai. Custard, kap. Kap. Looks like B's getting some face masks. Kom dai donut lao. Bangkan. As you can see, right now is probably not the best time to come to Terminal 21. Everything is pretty much closed down, but it was completely worth it to get a donut. I know while we're out in this area, you want me to check out Soy Cowboy. So that's what we're gonna do right now. Soy Cowboy is just right over there. Gotta cross the street carefully. Crossing the street out here in Bangkok is absolutely insane. That's one thing I have to say America does really well is they treat their pedestrians really good. As you can see, you gotta be real careful because there are just so many people going in different directions. That's what Terminal 21 looks like from the outside. I'm pretty sure this is actually a new bar. I haven't seen that before. It's just completely dead right now. Kind of freaky. Even Soy Cowboy is sponsored. Does look like you got some food. Looks like there's a little vendor over there. Soup, noodle soup. Usually there's an egg omelet vendor right here, but Looks like she's not coming here anymore. Five Star Chicken used to be open, but not anymore. This is actually a bar, but doesn't look like it's open these days. Subway's open for takeaway and delivery. This is a falafel restaurant, but the star of the show is this guy right here. This restaurant's closed down. Kashmir restaurant. The Continent Hotel, absolutely beautiful. I love this hotel. What me and B are gonna go explore now is a place called Koreatown. I'm curious if it's still open or not, but it's only about a five minute walk from our current location. B, are you okay? I'm okay. Exercise. Today is our exercise, B. This is Jet's gym right here, 24 hour fitness. And it does look like it's still closed. Extremely dark on the inside. So this is what a lot of places are doing now. When people order from Grab, a Grab driver picks it up and delivers it to people's houses. I like using Grab to deliver food, but Sometimes it's a little pricey, especially if the restaurant's further away. Western Union here, out of business. You know things are pretty bad when Western Union goes out of business. Nice suit shop right here, still open. This actually looks pretty interesting. It says nine pool tables and beers start for a hundred baht. And there's a pretty lady there to invite you in. Let's go check it out real quick. It actually looks pretty nice when it's open. Got a Thai spirit house. Let's continue our journey to Koreatown. Lots of shops closed down. Massage shops are not allowed to be open right now too. Fruit vendor and 7-Eleven open like normal. A lot of hotels these days have lowered their prices, but some of the high-end hotels don't budge at all. Their prices are still expensive. If you're enjoying the video so far, please give the video a like. Helps me out a lot. I just saw a Starbucks. You think it's still open? Looks like outside is closed, but you can still order coffee to take home. I wonder what's on the other side of this.
Not sure what that is. Looks like eggs on a stick. And here we are, we made it to Koreatown. I absolutely love this place. There's a really cool shop here that has imported goods from Japan, but I'm not sure if it's open or not, but I want to check it out. B, let's go check out that shop. Do you think it's open? I don't know. Looks like this restaurant is closed, but this one's open. Real nice designs of the shops. If I remember correctly, I think the shop I like is that one right there. Yeah, when everything's normal, this place is awesome. Tons of restaurants open here. If you like Korean food, this is definitely the place to be. This is the shop I was telling you about. We're gonna go get some stuff here. So this was some of the things that we got. We got some Japanese Coca-Cola. And as you can see, this is way more expensive than Thai Coca-Cola. Thai Coca-Cola is only like 20 baht. This is 100 baht because it's from Japan. If you never had Japanese Coca-Cola, you're missing out. This is probably some of the best Coca-Cola in the world. And I also got this ice cream, which I believe is from Korea. And B got some seaweed from Korea. I have eaten this ice cream before. It's absolutely delicious. And it's such a weird kind of flavor to it. It's like eating bread, but bread made out of chocolate. Be loose, all right, what um, shame? This looks like it used to be a really old park. I thought it was still open, but as we can see in there, it's definitely been closed for a while. That's pretty crazy because I saw a lot of pictures online. This park used to be pretty nice, but now it's pretty rough. As you can see, this is how most businesses are working right now. Just bringing the food to the customers. So you wanted to see Bangkok raw? This is Bangkok. This is Chang Chui, one of my favorite night markets in all of Bangkok. As you can see, the giant dog right here, and we have a little dog over here to welcome us too. This dog might be famous. They made a sculpture of him right there. We got to check in. There we go. Spray some alcohol on us. Everything's very quiet here as expected. This right behind me is usually a really cool bar but unfortunately it's closed. This is the world's famous Na'o restaurant. This is one of the most expensive restaurants I've seen, and it's one of the coolest restaurants also. They turned this old airplane into a restaurant on the inside. I really wanna do a vlog there in the future. Doesn't really look like there's anything open. You got these giant squids. This is how you exit the restaurant through this slide. Ice cream shop. Looks like it's still open, but nobody's in there. This restaurant's definitely closed. I just think this place is so cool. Check that out. An old airplane turned into a restaurant. B, huh? you wanna try to find some food? Yeah, I'll fly some food. Looks like you got a hot dog vendor and a little pancake shop. This place is super relaxing though. I almost prefer it when there's not so many people. Could be a good time to come here and maybe do a little photo shoot. Very famous restaurant out here in Thailand called Yang Nui. Usually when things are normal, you have a live musician performing at this very stage. This is some Alex Face graffiti art. Very famous street artist out here in Thailand. Let's go explore the rest of the place, B. That's pretty cool. Got a helicopter on the roof. Airplane turbine. Coming here right now, I almost feel like I'm in an apocalyptic world. That's too bad. This restaurant's closed. This little restaurant right here has some of the best Chinese food in all of Bangkok. Elephant and awesome graffiti art. Got some lions over here. Michelin man. What are you eating? Seaweed. So it looks like me and B are gonna 
get some food at one of the only restaurants that are open, which is a corn dog place, Mafia Cheese. We got some cheesy fries and a corn dog. As you can see, Bangkok is definitely not the same as it was just a few months ago, but hopefully things start to get better in the new future. Thank you for watching um, like and subscribe.